Today I am going to help you guys becoming a good sniper in Heroes and Generals game. First I will explain you some major points, and then I will tell you some key tips for snipers. So let's get started. My first point is, that you need to understand, that what is a sniper. A sniper is a military marksman who engages targets from positions of concealment, or at distances exceeding the target's detection capabilities. Snipers generally are equipped with high precision rifles and high magnification optics, and often also serve as scouts or observers feeding tactical information back to their units or command headquarters. In the same way in Heroes and Generals game the snipers also have high precision long range sniper rifles with scopes like M1903 for US faction, K98 for German faction and Mosin rifle for Soviet faction, and can mark enemy with binoculars. The second point is what are snipers objective in the game. As a sniper your main objective is cover your teammates, by taking out enemy troops attacking a capture point, alert them of enemy planes and tanks, and spot tanks for your tankers to destroy. Also try your best to take out enemy players trying to destroy your tanks. Also killing any enemy snipers suppressing your teammates. When the enemy team are proceeding to attack a point make sure you have clear view of the capture point that is under conflict. If there are multiple targets in a vehicle, take out the driver as the vehicle will stop allowing you to shoot other enemy players in the vehicle. The third point is right mods for your sniper rifle. You can mod your rifles to one shot kill, or one hit kill rifle, if you select the right mods for it. Only M1903, K98 and Mosin can be modded for one hit kill. The maximum damage you can do from these rifle, is around 120 till 180 meters. Even the heavy set ribbon enemy won't be able to survive it, if you place the shot correctly. To get 120 damage for the US faction on M1903 Springfield rifle select Bertie Claymark 3 ammunition, heavy bolt internal and crow molly 4150 barrel. Scope can be of your choice, I would suggest using any 8x scope, if you have unlocked it, and don't use trigger, because it makes your rifle more unstable, and increases your weapon sway. In the same way you can mod the Car 98 and Mosin sniper rifles, to get the 120 damage one shot kill rifle. You can choose other mods also as per your required damage and stability. The fourth point is using the camouflage badge. In Heroes and Generals game the badges play an important role, badges changes your gameplay experience a lot in many ways. The importance of being a sniper is not only to kill or spot enemies, but to survive also without getting spotted, or getting killed by enemies. When you kill someone, the kill cam shows the direction of your location. This makes you easily target, because the enemy is going to search for you now in your direction and eventually he will find you, and will kill you. So to avoid, being detected use camouflage badge, this badge removes kill cam, and because of that enemy, will not be able to find your location easily. Through this your chances of survival increases greatly. If you have not unlocked the camouflage badge, you can use ghillie badge, which reduces the time of being spotted marker by enemy. You can use other badges also like heavy set which reduces damage from enemy fire and marathon man badge for quickly moving small distance. Keep experimenting with badges, to find the best badges which suits you. The fifth point is understanding body damage. For getting the most damage out of your shot you need to understand the full body damage hit points. Headshot will give you the most, 4x multiplier damage no one can survive headshot from your rifle. Arms have 0.5x multiplier damage, for example if you hit someone on the arms with 120 damage shot, the effective damage will be 60 only. Legs have 0.7x multiplier and also have 1.0x multiplier damage. So always try to go for the headshot. The sixth point is finding the perfect sniping location. As a sniper location is everything, it grants you the ability, to see without being seen. If you find a perfect sniper location you are bound to do well. So in this part I will tell you how to find that perfect location. Firstly for the free reckons they all have different camos for different surroundings. For Germany their starter camouflages are all rounder, and as well in all environmental and urban surroundings making it the best starter camouflage for sniper. Then the American camouflage works best in green grassy surroundings. 
Lastly, the Russian sniper's camouflage works best in dry crops which the game has a lot of in the maps. There are other camos also available to purchase in game which are great at hiding you in the surroundings. Try to choose a camo that matches the ground, make sure to try, and find some unique spots, where no one will expect you to be, and try to stay away from obvious spots as you will likely be seen by an enemy sniper. If you don't have camouflage badge make sure to change your location after every 2-3 two, two, kills. If the kills are within 250 meter, beyond 250 meters it will be difficult for them to judge your location. The seventh point is adjusting the sight. For any sniper accuracy is very important. The bullet drops with the increasing distance, so you need to adjust the sight of your scope to counter the bullet drop. For that you need to point at target and press spacebar to adjust the sight of your scope. This will make your shots very accurate. Now I will tell you some tips and tricks on becoming a good sniper. The first point is bike. Always try to have a bike with you for getting to sniping spots faster, before enemy could notice you. Bike will also help you to relocate your position after enemy spots you. Bike is also the cheapest vehicle to maintain for any sniper. The second point is fatigue level. Before firing your shot ensure that your fatigue level is at the minimum. The more the fatigue the more the sight of the rifle will be unstable, and it will be hard for you to take shots. The best way to reduce weapons way is to go prone and then shoot. Being prone with no fatigue level will give the most stable scope sight and eventually your aiming will improve. The third point is use of armored sniper vehicles. Reckons in game have some special vehicles in their arsenal like M8 Greyhound for US faction, powerful Puma for German faction and BA-11 for Soviet side. Remember all vehicles in these categories, have light armor and they are not tanks, or they are VR good against infantry, light armored vehicles like jeeps, bike, APCs and planes, don't spawn these vehicles against tanks, that will be waste of resources only. But you can have fun in any way you want. The fourth point is being quiet, and listening to all nearby sounds. I have seen guys spotting snipers, not by visually seeing them, but by hearing their rifle shots, and getting behind them, and easily killing the sniper. So always try to be alert about your surroundings and always be cautious. Try listening to the footsteps of the incoming enemies, and eliminate them, before they eliminate you. The fifth point is having a sidearm. Having a sidearm will save you in tricky situations, where enemy is very close to you, and you need a quick firing weapon to defend yourself. There are many pistols and revolvers available for use as your sidearm weapon. Try to mod your sidearm for maximum RPM. The sixth point is capturing objectives. It is not recommended to capture an objective. You are better off sniping anyone who tries take it. The seventh point is equipment points. The sniper have seven equipment points only. Try to give priority to the sniper rifle first having at least 50 rounds. Then you can choose what to do with other two equipment points. The eighth point is binoculars. It's great for spotting enemies and vehicles. Binoculars gives more wide zoomed view of the battlefield than your rifle scope. It's very helpful. Many players don't suggest using it. But you will only know the use of the binoculars, when you will use it yourself. So try to equip your sniper with it. The ninth point is grinding your weapons and badges. Do not grind your weapon or new sniper player in the war. War is a serious place, grinding and practicing, only to be done in staged battles. Don't bring your stock rifles into war mode. Instead of that you can bring a SMG, and get some kills and captures. In this way you will help upgrading sniper ATs of a player. That's all the points I want to tell you. If you want to know many secret vantage points in the game, go and watch the video in the description. It's a awesome video. Most of the players don't know all the spots in it. In the last I will tell you to keep playing the game more and more, and you will gain experience and eventually you will become a expert marksman. If you think I missed any points or tips feel free to comment down below. You can subscribe for more heroes and generals videos. Thanks for watching.